Hi, I'm Colt Fichek. I'm from Baker City. When I was 14, I had a uh, rare disease called TENS. TENS stands for Toxic Epidermal Necrolysis Syndrome. Pretty much scarred my body from head to toe and third degree burns. So it scarred shut my saliva glands and you need your saliva to keep your teeth clean. Over the five years, my teeth started falling apart and decaying. So I had to get all my teeth pulled. Now I have dentures and now here I am. My name is Shelly Conroe. I am Colton's mother, and I'm from Haynes, Oregon. When he was 14, he was diagnosed with Steven Johnson syndrome, and um, it happened over the course of two to three days. On the third day, finally, um, they uh, flew him to uh, Boise, where he was treated there short, for a short time, and then moved to the burn unit in Portland, Oregon. It, it was hard seeing him, you know, he was just in pain as he was eating constantly um, and, you know, sleeping at night, it was uncomfortable for him to sleep just because of the pain that his teeth were bringing him. Uh, he had, towards the end of it, he had a filling in every tooth of his mouth, so, you know, it was really sad to see his, him, he pretty much, you know, lost his teeth completely, so that's why we had, had to have them all removed. The medical insurance denied it because they said it was a secondary cause to why he lost his teeth. The codes weren't covered. For some reason, they denied it. So then the dental insurance picked up what they could, but they only cover $1,500 a year. And so just getting his teeth pulled, that pretty much took all of that money. It was disappointing, really disappointing. Um, just had to figure out a way and you know, come up with the money, and that's what we did. My mom and I created the GoFundMe account and started sharing it on Facebook, and then um, next thing you know, it was, it was trending on GoFundMe, and it was getting thousands of shares, and next thing you know, um, my mom and I were talking on the phone, she's like, hey, someone reached out to me in the Philippines from this company called Dental, uh, Dental Departures. And I said, oh, that's awesome, you know, let me know if you hear anything more about it. Everybody deserves quality and affordable medical care. And so our, our mission is to help match patients in need with international quality dental and medical service at affordable prices. And um, a few months later, she had emailed back asking if, you know, I was still interested. And I said, yeah, we're still trying to raise the money. And at that point, then I sent her a link to, um, of the GoFundMe account with the video um, with, with Colton's um, history of what he had went through. And um, it touched her so much that she reached out to her supervisor and um, so forth. And then I got a phone call from Jane Parker was reading on the internet and um, that was one that I would read some really good reviews on and um, Sandy Dental was probably amongst the highest with the highest reviews and so I didn't know at that point it was going to be Sandy Dental's but um, I just reached I was just trying to reach out to find out any information that I could. Through our day in day out activities we hear every day sad stories of people uh, in real need of dental care and they can't afford it. And it, it touches us all day long, every day. We hear a story that we want to be able to, to help in some way. And it's a very rewarding situation that we're in that we can save people so much money. But with Colton, his uniqueness was that he was such a young man and had his whole life ahead of him, facing a, an entire life with the likelihood of, of no teeth. And so that was probably the biggest factor was his age uh, is, was just so unique and the ability to make a difference for him for the rest of his life. She goes, Chase, you're not gonna believe this. Um, a lady, right here in Seattle that is a colleague of the lady that I was speaking with in um, the Philippines, works for this company, and she was talking about possibly 
you know, doing all of Colton's procedure and getting him exactly what he needs, getting him his teeth back, um, you know, and, and really assisting us and helping us out. So at that point, I was like, no, like that's too good to be true. Algodones is, is the big capital of the dentistry and the world. And about uh, two blocks, uh, we are 400 to 500 dentists. Uh, also, the patients have two options here to stay in Los Algodones with us. Next to the clinic, they are one of the hotel, Celito Lindo. And the other is about three blocks, is La Hacienda. And the same uh, plaza, Medi Plaza, next to the San Dental Group clinic. We have the pharmacy, we have a restaurant, we have the coffee, uh, so some amenities the patient can take there. Our hotels in our plaza are very clean, safe, very modern. We actually have everything here in one location where our patients can actually go from pharmacy to medical to even uh, food supplies. Our food is amazing, very tasteful and we provide a very safe area for our patients to actually relax and enjoy their stay here in Algodones. We discovered this little town called Los Algodones, which is actually pretty much the dental capital of the world. It's a little town that is about a 10 block radius and it has over 300 dentists in this little bitty town. So it is known as the dental capital of the world and that was one of our first target markets of obtaining quality clinics. It just started to sound more realistic. Uh, and even, even last week, after all of our tickets were bought, um, you know, hotels booked, work, vacation all scheduled and everything, I still was like, like there's no way. Um, but I look at Colton and all that he's been through, um, He's overdue. He's overdue for a miracle and dental departures and Sandy Dental, they've, they've been his miracle. So uh, they're bringing his smile back. So I'm pretty happy. Cotton case, it was a uh, very uh, challenging for, for us, this case, because he had this, uh, unfortunately, the Steven Johnson syndrome. A uh, very young patient and lose all the two. I, the, the surgery consists in, in put in the top and in the bottom some implant. I use the uh, system uh, polarized of the stroma. It's a four implant in the top, four implant in the bottom, and over this implant put the, the plate, but the plate fixes over this implant. It's a good solution for this and for another patient for uh, rehabilitation of the of your mouth and for the uh, function and the aesthetic function. I did the temporary denter. Um, with several tests, like uh, the impression first, after the surgery, then I did um, a relationship for the bite and like a mock-up for how they look and the size, color and everything for the teeth and that's it. Um, after that I finished the dental. I would describe the clinic over the top because um, I work in the medical facility. I work. I work in the medical profession. So I know what it's. I know what um, Jayco in the United States expects. The clinic was absolutely clean. I looked in every corner. There's like no dirt, no dust, no nothing. Everything was like. I mean, everybody washes and gloves, and I mean, you would think that coming to Mexico that they're not going to follow procedure the same as we do in the United States. It's even better. They, they do a wonderful job. Miguel and Dr. Javier, they went with us to the pharmacy. They made sure that Colton, that we were able to get all of Colton's pharmaceuticals. Um, Colton has quite the list of allergies to medications and they're really knowledgeable about what he could take that's going to be best for pain, swelling, you know, which antibiotics he can take and which ones he can't take. Um, and then all the way up till 7.30, 8 o'clock last night, they, Dr. Javier and Miguel, they were coming up to our room and checking on Colton. Uh, Miguel left uh, his own personal radio so we could talk directly with the uh, 
front desk and the security and um, gave us his personal cell phone number and he said, you know, if anything were to happen with Colton, he would rather him and Dr. Javier handle it themselves because they know exactly what's going on. Um, that level of customer service just isn't seen anywhere. I, I keep on saying it to my mom and Colton, like, I've never been treated so well so on such a personal level where you feel like, you know, almost like royalty, like, why are they so concerned, <laughs> you know, but it's just the, the level of professionalism here and, and we really like it. After the proceeding, we are very happy, all the staff, uh, because uh, we sent some patients to again have something to eat, to socialize, to have the complete function of the mouth, and also we are very satisfied to finish the treatment. Colton uh, also is my patient, but also is my friend too, and he's a good patient. He's a good patient, he's a good boy. The family is very happy with the treatment, very happy with the, the, the evolution of Colton, and very happy with the sunny doctors. It's something that we can see every day, and I'm so happy with the result, uh, because uh, we work with team, um, with dental departor, with the surgical doctor, and everybody working team for the final result. This um, Colton was happy with the result, I think, and I'm happy with that. I just, I look forward to, to seeing what he accomplishes with the rest of his life. And I'm sure that his smile is gonna be shining through all that time. I, my wish has come true. It, we're here right now. Colt's got his teeth fixed. I miss him being healthy, uh, you know, not having to do eye drops every 15 minutes and eye, drop, uh, eye gel every night. But what I do appreciate about him now is he's, he appreciates life so much more. Hey guys, made it back home with my new smile. Big thanks to Sandy Dental and Dental Departures for everything. Thank you.